tubers, tubets, and of course the ever-widening circle of crazy people. Well, if you clicked on the thumbnail, you'll see that Baby May has found a new love interest. And I guess, you know, this was bound to happen. Uh, it took me totally by surprise. In fact, it happened only yesterday that the old dog, while I'm not being replaced, I'm kind of being supplemented by a newer, younger, and can you believe this, female dog. That's right. There's a new addition here at the McGill compound. <laughs> Let's say hi to our lovely, delightful Shihitsu. <laughs> and uh, her name, I've gone through a variety of names in my head. And then the, I had a, a name that was kind of a boyish name, and it was kind of rough, and that didn't work. And um, then I thought about it, and I thought about it, because when she first came over to her, she spent the night, first night yesterday. Yeah. And uh, it's, I'll let you hold her. <laughs> so keep her in the camera there so everybody can enjoy how beautiful she is. Uh, when she spent the night yesterday, she was kind of lackadaisical. She was... Um, I don't know, um, sedate, if you will. She was quiet. She was kind of getting used to the surroundings. Yeah. And then this morning, she just perked right up. She was a happy camper. She was jumping around, and she ate some food and drank water, and finally went outside and went potty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so, you know, it was a new environment for the dog. Um, and I'll get to her new name in just a minute. But a little background on how she came to be. Baby May and I have this kind of routine where, and we went through that routine yesterday. And here's the routine. Uh, on many days, we will drive into Dumaguete and I'll have a meeting or an appointment or schedule something with somebody that's contacted me to have coffee, which I love. And so when that happens, May usually does not really want to go to the coffee shop. Um, it's not that she's not interested in meeting people. It's just that I think it's gotten kind of old <laughs> for her to sit there and watch me banter on for an hour with somebody. And she says hi, and they meet her, and they take a selfie or whatever with her. And then she just kind of is sitting there by herself, uh, unless the guy has a wife or a girlfriend. So it varies. But this time... May said she wanted to be just dropped off at her sister's work and because we, she did have a mission yesterday and that was to go buy a cake yeah. for Ray's birthday. Ray, yeah. And Ray is her future brother-in-law, lives just down the yeah. street from us. He turned 65 yesterday yeah. and we went out to dinner and we brought a cake as uh, our tithe and contribution mm -hmm. <laughs> to the party, I guess. And uh, I was at the coffee shop. And she had gone and gotten the cake and went back to her sister's work, which is Cebuana. And she sent me a message, and it was kind of this garbled message that only May can send. <laughs> Something about a dog and Riza and borrowing a dog. And so I said, okay. I said, well, just come over to Ground Zero. And she showed up, and she had this little puppy with her. It's four months old. Yeah. It's had its shots. And it was owned by the one and only Riza, her <laughs> sister, who, as the mother of three children, living hand to mouth and <laughs> going to school and trying to put food on the table, for some reason, Riza had the bright idea that it was a good idea to go out and buy a dog. <laughs> and not only that, but a purebred dog. <laughs> And then, I don't know what she paid for it, I'm not going to ask, but apparently, if you're not familiar with Riza, Riza is May's youngest sister. I think yeah. she's 22 years old. 23. 23, yeah. okay. And so she's got three kids, and there's a little girl, Nikki. She's, she's fine. Yeah. Uh, but then there's Junior and Senior, okay, which is a different story. Mm -hmm. Junior and Senior are twin boys. What are they, two or three now? Three. Three years yeah. old. And so Junior and Senior, they thought the best thing in the world was to whack the dog with sticks. <laughs> yeah. 
and, and May's mother stays and watches Junior and Senior and Nika and uh, hates dogs. <laughs> so it wasn't a good scenario when May went over to the house. This little puppy was actually hiding behind the refrigerator, trying to avoid her mother and junior and senior coming at her with sticks. So after watching her prance around yesterday and learning, and I have to teach her her name, um, I've decided that this time, I've always been a dog lover. I've always had dogs in the States. I've been wanting to have a dog, but I've not gotten one. Uh, really because of the environment here. There's a lot of street dogs yeah. around. Uh, it's easy to get, get into the yard and out of the yard, but our little new little puppy here has no interest in that. She roams around a little bit, but she is a people dog. Yeah. She loves to lay at my feet, and we've had her 48 hours now, or she hangs out with May, yeah. and she got all frisky, and so I decided that the best name for her, which just seems to fit her personality, even though she's sleepy right now, is ta-da. But you don't pronounce it ta-da. You pronounce it ta-da. <laughs> so say hi to ta-da. <laughs> and I guess this is going to be like an ongoing saga, because now I'm going to, I've already YouTubed. I've never formally trained a dog before. And it's always been, number one, a regret and number two, an ambition, all at the same time. I used to have wiener dogs, dachshunds, back, uh, back in the day when my kids were little. And they were great little dogs, but I never formally trained them. But they were actually pretty well behaved just on their own. And this one here is really a lover and intelligent, I can tell, um, compared to the dogs out front that we've tried to befriend. But there's a lot of inbreeding going on and while they can play the banjo like no one's business, they just don't have anything really to do with you. And they're skittish and they're standoffish and all that. Uh, and I've just got a little problem with the street dog IQ. We've tried to adopt four of them yeah. and it didn't work, it failed. They just wouldn't get close to us. But this little dog has taken it right to us. So ta-da, welcome to the family. Yeah. Welcome to the YouTube family mm. and community. I'm going to be YouTubing how to train a dog, and what I do remember a lot, uh, very, very uh, succinctly, if you will, is there was a woman, I can't remember her name, but she used to say, walkies, she was an English lady, and she, her whole thing was, you don't really train the dog, you train the person. The dog's smart, we're stupid, <laughs> okay? Mm -hmm. So I have to be trained, I have to allow myself to be trained, and the first thing I'm going to do is teach her her name. So I've already watched a video about that, how to make big hand motions, say her name, and then when she just looks at me, I'll give her a treat. So that's going to be lesson number one. So anyway, we're proud to say that we have a new addition here to the Milgill compound, and it is our dog, uh, Tada. Yeah, what do you think, right. May? You happy? Yeah, I'm so happy because it's so long time I miss for the... I buy the puppy dog, but mm -hmm. he told me is need the private dog eat. Right. Yeah. Right. And actually, the fact that this dog is not a wanderer or a big dog or what's the word? Um, uh, you know, just racing around crazy. Yeah. No, this dog is sedate. It likes it's it's frisky, but it's it's not you know. It just doesn't just run off. I've had dogs that have done that too. So curious about its surroundings, but really protective. And, and the minute you say something, it doesn't know its name yet, but we'll come back to you. And so we're looking forward to moving forward with ta-da. Yeah. Ta-da. Ta-da. <laughs> All right. Well, that's it. This is a short little update. We just wanted to let you guys know that we have a new member here in the family. Yeah. And we'll be doing, you know, not all the time, but we'll do little progress reports on how we're doing or how I'm doing training the dog. I'm sure the dog will be just fine and uh, it'll be me that needs the work. And so that's it. That's our video for the day. Yeah. All right. 
So listen, it's Thanksgiving <clears throat> for you guys tomorrow, or when you see this video, it should be Thanksgiving. So happy Thanksgiving to everyone. We had a nice little Thanksgiving yeah. lunch today with our friends, because today's Thursday. And uh, by the time you see this video, it should be Thursday in America. And so for those in America, happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. We'll Bye -bye. see you in the next video.